Hey everybody, Marty here from Recast Software. And what we are going to try and answer today is what can you actually do with the community version of Right Click Tools? Uh, if you notice here, we've got the community version of the Right Click Tools installed. Um, so let's go ahead and see what are some things that we can actually do with the Right Click Tools. Um, what we're going to do is if you go to the devices under Assets and Compliance, and um, once you have the right click tools installed, you can click on uh, device with your right mouse button, go to right click tools, and the menu will pop up. Um, if you look, the first one that we're going to talk about is this client actions up here at the top. And you may recognize some of these things that are listed here. They are going to be um, the actions that are usually run from the configuration manager control panel. Um, but here we can run them remotely. So if you want to do a software updates deployment evaluation cycle against this device that I have selected here, you can absolutely just click on it. It's going to go ahead and get that uh, cycle started on that remote device. Um, similarly, you can do any of the other ones that you're interested in, uh, machine policy retrieval, hardware inventory, any of those, and those will go ahead and get that started on that device. The next section is client tools. The client tools actually has some really useful information, uh, useful uh, actions that you can run. Specifically, if you look right here, add device to collection, it's a wonderful way if you are on one device or you're on multiple devices, you can right click on this and it'll ask you, okay, well, which uh, collection would you like to add this to? And you can go ahead and select the collection that you'd like to add it to uh, and click start and it will go ahead and add it there. There are a couple of other things that are really interesting under client tools as well that I'd like to point out. Um, one of them is the client information tool. Um, as you can see, it's limited to one device and community, but there's still some really interesting things that you can get out of here, uh, including what your the CCM cache folder looks like on these devices, how much space is actually being used. If it's something that's being overused, you can absolutely or completely fill it. You can go ahead and clear it, or you can change the cache size, which can be helpful as well. Um, you can also see exactly what is in the cache, and as it loads and reads from the Config Manager database, it'll actually fill in the names of the things. Uh, as they come in. And if there are things that don't have any more information about it in the database, those will eventually come up and say that it's orphaned content uh, that you could absolutely select and then go ahead and delete. Uh, finally, the other one that I wanted to show is that you can also find it bound if your device is part of a boundary group. So if you look here, you can actually see that this device is a part of a boundary group. Um, it has a name, uh, the name is that, and the, the group name is this one. So you can see that it is part of a boundary group and we know that it's going to be getting uh, policies and information that it needs from, uh, from inside that boundary group. The last one that I wanna show uh, in the client tools is our install missing software updates. So what this will do is this actually is showing you what it would look like inside Software Center uh, for software updates on this computer. You can go ahead and install software updates right from here. Uh, and then it will essentially start them just as if you were on the device in Software Center, clicking it and hitting install. The last thing that we're gonna go ahead and show with the uh, community version of RightClick Tools is the console tools. Um, this has a lot of different tools that can be useful uh, on sending um, doing things with Active Directory, if you want to go ahead and delete a device from Active Directory, you can also delete a device from Config Manager if you needed to do that for some reason. Um, the other interesting things, you can go ahead and send notifications to this device. It'll pop up if the user's logged in. Um, and you can also get system information about this device. So if we click on system information, you can kind of see some of the things that it can tell us. Uh, it can tell us if there's a pending restart, the IP address. Um, it can also tell us the applications that are installed on the device. We can see which Windows updates have been installed on this device. We can actually see the services that are running. The interesting thing here is that you can actually select it and start and stop them, 
or you can even change how they start. So if you want to have them uh, change to a manual start or you need a ma automatic delayed, you could absolutely do that. And here's where you can uh, start, stop, or restart the service if you like to. Uh, the last thing I'll show here that's kind of interesting is you can actually also see user profiles. So you can see which user profiles are on this device. And you can go ahead, if you wanted to remove a user profile, you could absolutely click on it and go ahead and hit delete and it will delete it from the device. The very, very last thing that I'm gonna show here uh, might take just a couple of seconds to pull up is local group members. All right, so this has populated and now we can see that the administrators group is here and these are the people that are the users that are inside that administrators group so if i per perhaps found a, a user that had added themselves to the administrators group that shouldn't be there maybe i want to go ahead and remove them and i can go ahead and click and remove and it will remove that uh, that member from that local administrators group well, that's just a quick overview of what there is in the community version of Right Click Tools. If you have any questions or are looking for more information, please make sure to check out our website at www.recastsoftware.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.